Question sets are useful when you want to create a sequence of problems, as opposed to multiple individual problems, for the learner to solve. Use question sets to assess the learner's ability to reproduce key concepts of a compound learning material. To begin with, first we have to look for quiz type activities at the search for content types list. To do so we type the word quiz. Then we click on the quiz, question set activity. Like every other H5P activity we should start editing our exercise by giving it a proper title. After we type the desired title we can choose if we would like to show an introductory slide to the learner, accompanied with text or with an image. In our example we will leave the quiz introduction options as blank. In the quiz type activity we can choose if we would like to have a background image for our questions, we can alter how the progress indicator would look like and we can also set our desired pass percentage. In this example, the pass percentage will be 80% so we will type the number 80 in the appropriate field. We are ready to start creating our questions. This is done at the questions field. To add our first question, first we have to choose its type from the drop down menu. Our first question will be a multiple choice one. For our own convenience, we should give it a title. This title will not be visible to the learner. It will only be visible to you if you decide to make any changes later on. Thus, you will be able to navigate through the questions with ease. You also have the option to add media to your question. Keep in mind this media will be displayed only above this particular question and not during the whole quiz. In our example we will add an image of Blackberries since the first question will be about them. To do so, click on the add button and then find your image from your hard drive. Select it and click on the open button to load it. It is also mandatory to add an alternative text to your image in case your learner's browser faces issues loading it. After the image is uploaded you should type your question and the available choices. Type your question at the question field. At the available options field, begin by typing the correct choice first. To indicate that this is the right answer, we should click on the correct option below. In case you have multiple correct options, like the example, you need to follow the same steps. If you wish to add some incorrect options as well, simply leave the correct option blank. Now we need to adjust the custom feedback for the learner when this part of the exercise is complete. We do that at the overall feedback field. There the custom feedback ranges and messages are set. The first part of our exercise is complete. Now we wish to add a second question to our exercise. To add an extra question we click on the add question button and then we choose its type. The second exercise is going to be a drag and drop one, so we pick the corresponding type of question at the question type menu. First we need to give it a distinctive title. For this example we will name it as drag and drop. Next we will upload the background image for our question which is optional but it can make our exercise look more appealing. After the image has been uploaded we should click on the task button in order to set our drop zones. To add the first drop zone click on the add drop zone button. Since we want our learners to drop the types of berries into the correct zone we will create three drop zones. We wish to indicate the drop zones names to the learner, so he or she will know where to drop every type of berry. That's why we'll enable the label button for every drop zone that we are about to make. In addition we will reduce the drop zone's opacity to half so the background image will be visible. Besides to make sure that the learner will only drop a single item at the drop zone. To activate this option we click the button as shown in the video. The first drop zone is ready. Now we have to adjust its size and position. For the other two drop zones we will copy and paste the first drop zone. Next we have to edit it and give it a different name. We will repeat the process for our third drop zone.
In this exercise we wish that our learners drop the image of the berry to the appropriate drop zone. To add the first image we need to click the image button. At the pop-up window that appears we select our image by clicking the add button. Then we set an alternative text for the image in case the learner's browser fails to load it. There is the option to add a text for the user to see when his mouse hovers over the image. In the end we want to enable this image to be dropped in all three drop zones. To do so we click on select all option at the select drop zones area. We will repeat the same process for the rest of the images. Our final question wish to be a multiple choice one. To begin we click the blue at question button like before and pick the multiple choice option. Then we will give it a proper name. After that, we shall add an image that will be displayed above the question as well as an alternative text for it. Now it is time to set the question that the learner will see when he reaches this part of the exercise. Next we will set the available choices. Do not forget that we need to have at least a correct one. To enable a choice as correct click on the correct button. If you want to add more choices click the add option button. Finally you can customize the feedback received for this question by adjusting the score ranges at the overall feedback field. It is extremely important to mention that quiz type question set in H5P gives some extra navigation options compared to a simple exercise. The creator can forbid the user to go to the previous questions by clicking the Disable Backwards Navigation. The creator can also randomize the order of questions by clicking the randomize question option. Finally the creator can pick a random number from the questions set above. For example the creator can choose some of those to be shown randomly in order to provide a different and unique experience every time the learner tries to complete this exercise. The exercise is complete. Now, we have to set the passing criteria. We will set the passing grade to 8. At the activity completion criteria we will adjust the completion tracking to, show activity as complete when the conditions are met. And at we will also click on the, student must receive a grade to complete this activity. Congratulations! This H5P quiz activity is now complete. Click save and display to view your result.